In the realm of creativity, admiration often shifts into envy or competition. Music in particular is rife with tales of conflicts, usually stemming from the belief that one artist is encroaching on another's territory or outshining them. So, when you encounter accounts of two icons praising each other, it's a heartening display of camaraderie. That's the sentiment evoked when learning about Freddie Mercury's admiration for Prince. Freddie Mercury and Prince, in many respects, appear as two sides of the same coin. Both were committed to revitalizing music, infusing it with grandeur in both their compositions and performances. They approached music with a blend of seriousness and playfulness, expanding the genre's horizons with their unparalleled talents. Additionally, they rose to prominence concurrently, reaching the zenith of their fame during the 1980s. Despite traversing similar theatrical rock landscapes, it would have been simple for them to regard each other as rivals. Yet, instead, they held deep admiration for one another, with Mercury possibly even idolizing Prince. According to Mercury's longtime assistant, Peter Freestone, the Queen frontman, would frequently watch Prince's performances, seemingly captivated by the musician. At home, Mercury would unwind by repeatedly viewing recordings of Prince's concerts, even insisting on sharing his enthusiasm with friends by showcasing his favorite Prince songs. When Mercury passed away in 1991, his bandmates curated a list of his favorite songs for fans to commemorate him. Among them was Prince's Little Red Corvette, Mercury's cherished Prince track from the album 1999. This selection held significance as it marked Prince's breakthrough in the U.S. charts and garnered substantial attention. The music video for the song became a staple on MTV, further solidifying Prince's presence. Mercury found himself drawn to Little Red Corvette and Prince's live renditions of the song, appreciating its narrative-driven lyrics, which resonated with his own penchant for crafting operatic rock records. As one of Prince's early hits, the track underscored his refusal to be confined by expectations, showcasing his prowess as a musician, vocalist, and songwriter. Prince himself reportedly drew inspiration from Brian May's guitar prowess, considering him one of his influences. Freestone reflected on Mercury's admiration for Prince, noting their shared qualities of boundless energy and charismatic presence, despite their age difference. He characterized both as possessing an aura that transformed their stature into something monumental, 